One of the things that I really enjoy about the Day on the Hill event is engaging directly with members of Parliament and also um, not sticking to like a formalized way of acting but like really trying to connect with them and establish some sort of uh, open communication channel because that those representatives are representing communities and by opening that communication channel they're not just um, hearing me talk at them they're understanding what I'm saying and I want I don't want them to just hear that I care about the arts I want them to care about the arts what would we take as a group I would say it was wonderful to realize that some of our exec elected representatives uh, really do understand. Uh, quotidiennement, je peux vous dire que moi je m'occupe du patrimoine, puis euh, je vois bien qu'au niveau politique, on est toujours à la fin de la période des questions, puis c'est rare qu'on en parle. Et pourtant, euh, c'est la qualité de vie euh, de tous nos citoyens qui en dépend d'être exposés à l'art, puis à la création, puis au moment de réflexion, à l'inspiration que ça peut apporter. Art is critical to a high quality of life. And in the day of trying to have a competitive economy, Canada has to, above all, be able to attract people by being able to deliver a high quality of life. Arts, music, theater, uh, the visual arts, all of these are part of providing that to people. This is where actually decisions are made. This is where the funding comes from. Uh, my work in advocacy is really passionate though about taking it back to communities, to the grassroots where it matters, which is in every home, in every community, in every arts organization, big or small. That's where the value of the arts actually should live and it should start with advocacy. Ce qui m'a amené ici aujourd'hui, dans le fond, c'est le désir de faire valoir la place des artistes, la place de la culture dans la société en général. L'art est important parce que ça donne un sens à la vie, euh, ça construit les communautés, puis ça génère un sentiment d'appartenance, de convivialité, euh, ça ouvre le dialogue, ça connecte les différentes cultures. Pour moi, c'est fondamental. Je pense que c'est ce que les arts donnent aux gens, c'est juste une ouverture à considérer le monde d'une façon différente. Ça ouvre up. Uh, just so many avenues of self-expression and self, being able to know oneself too, know one's body through dance, know one's mind through writing. I turned 40 this year and I've been in the arts since I was three. I think everything I've achieved as an artist and also an advocate is because of my relationship to the arts. Sometimes it's small scale, just people in the community coming together to share stories. And, and that's why arts is so important because it's what brings us together, it entertains us, it's the way we express ourselves, but it's, it's also how we define ourselves. I think it actually probably stems from even childhood, our, our love of play. I think arts actually taps into that as, as adults, our, our love of exploring new ideas, exploring new things. So I just think that's probably the best thing about the arts, is just train, it just opens up things, it just opens up the world.